Hey, YouTube. Got episode one of reaction, reacting to comedy. Fuck, English, my third language, man. Come on. Um, we're gonna do Bill Burr today. Um, Bill Burr is one of my favorite comedians so far. I just love the way he does his comedy. He's just fucking too aggressive. So. I really don't trust beautiful women. You know why? Because they're only around when you have shit. It's like the second you get some, if you don't have anything going on, you're just like hanging out with trolls and shit. You know what I mean? But the second you get some shit going on, they come out of the woodwork like, oh my God, you have some stuff. Can you buy me some stuff? And then the second you go broke, they're like, oh my God, I left something over here. You know, it's just a real fucking turn off. I don't know. You know what? I just find women that just like, uh, I think they're great. I don't want this to come off like, I don't want to come up here like I'm some woman here because, you know, I know I'm a psycho, but it's just like, I don't know. I just find them to be like relentless. Just every day, they, they just, they just got to come at you. They just wake up. They have an agenda. And so they're like these psycho robots that never run out of batteries. And every day, they just keep fucking, just keep coming at you. Right? You got to deal with that every single day. Hey, honey. And you literally, you know, every day, it's, it's like waves hitting the beach, you know? Every day, just eroding a little more your life away, you know? Just waking up inch by inch. You know, every day, just... Why are you hanging out with him? He drinks too much. Where'd you buy that? That's ugly. Throw it out. So one day you're just hanging out in the middle of a lagoon, just floating there with your baseball cards. You're waving to your friends back on the shore. Don't get me tickets. I still like sports. Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. Hey, honey, how you doing? No, I'm trying to, I'm trying to learn how to, how to pick my, my battles with my girl, you know? It's what I am, you know. I used to argue all the time. I'm just trying to pick the battles. Some days they they come at you. You just, you just gotta let them go. You just let them go and follow them to whatever dumb shit they want to do. Like, hey, it's gonna be a picnic. We have a picnic. You bring the good thing and you fucking. <laughs> then other days you just, you just gotta get your hand up. You just gotta just create this perimeter or something for them to bounce off. Like you just, you just send that psycho energy in another direction. <laughs> Buy yourself a couple of hours for freedom before they bounce off something else. Gang, 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 and they start coming back. Go see my parents. No, they're relentless. They never stop. And there's no reason for them to stop. You know why? Because you can't hit them. That's what it is. Think about that. There's no physical ramifications for being an asshole when you're a woman. Do you know how much you have a... How much of a dick I would be if it was socially unacceptable to kick the shit out of me? <laughs> Dude, I would be trashing everybody I saw. See some big muscle bound guy, hey, go to the fucking gym, slap his protein shake out of his head. Hey, go fuck yourself, right? But I can't do that, right? Every guy has a line, and if I cross the line, I get blasted in the face. Totally acceptable, right? Well, with women, there's no line. They can just keep fucking, just keep coming at you. Dude, they can do stuff worthy of like a suplex and they'll just stand right next to it. They don't even have the decency to run away. They'll like light your clothes on fire. They're like, ta-da, I did that shit. <laughs> oh yeah. And I was so proud of my work, I stuck around to see your reaction. I invited a couple of friends to heckle you as you try to stomp it out with your bare feet. Oh yeah, they'll like key your car, sign their name. Susan did this shit. You're sitting like, now, can I at least put her in a headlock, give her a couple of... Now, I feel bad for women that you, you never get to feel that. You guys should, should do it to each other, you know, just every once in a while. Just haul off and just blast one of your friends in the face, you know. It's good for you. <laughs> no, I know, yeah, I know, it hurts. You know, you can't feel your nose, your ears are ringing, but I'm telling you, man, it, it clears your head. And it causes you to, like, evaluate yourself. I swear to God, any time I ever got punched in the face, I was always pissed. But at some point during the drive home, I'd always be thinking like, you know, it's kind of being a dick back there, you know? <laughs> and I really think about it, I probably shouldn't have said that last shit, you know? And you, you, you'd like make that adjustment. <laughs> Sorry, I just stuck in that $9,000 to fucking fly here. Can I make uh, No offense, but there's no Eiffel Tower here. I think that's a little pricey. <laughs> You're welcome! <laughs>
Yeah, I've never seen these footage before. All these are new to me. Like, I'm a big fan of Bill Burr. I watched all of his Netflix specials, but all of these are new. Shit. <laughs> Thank you for not just laughing. Thank you for verbally letting me know that you appreciated that. Thank you. She either has no stairs in her in her house, or someone doesn't know how to walk up them. Not that good. Did you call? Did you call the plumber? Thank you. That's what she said. Can women be funny? Yeah, of course. Well, man, I don't know about this one. Some people have a hard time saying yes, though. There are a lot of angry young men on the internet. They're like, oh, women can't, guys, can't be stop fun. It. Will you guys just fucking grow up and just sit down and write your own horse shit and come up with it? Start your own fucking show. Have your own award show. Quit waiting around for other people to do shit for you. That's the fucking problem. If you guys had your own big club and I was standing outside of it, you'd never fucking let me in. I'd start my own shit. You guys got to start your own shit. You got brains in there, right? Uh, I, yes, absolutely. So write your own shit. And quit your fucking whining. We're all eating a giant shit sandwich out here. Nobody cares. I don't care. Absolutely. But I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a white person. The fuck up. Uh, I, it has no makes no yeah. difference whether you got a dick or a twat. All right? <laughs> Just do what the fuck you want to do and hopefully people respond to it. But this fucking horseshit of quotas and all of this crap you become undeniable. Well, when was the last time you went on stage and you killed so hard the person after you bombed? If you're fucking doing that on a regular basis, people are going to notice regardless of what you have between your legs. Yeah. All right. I never understood the shame of getting a hooker. People always flip out like, dude, you had to pay for it. It's just like, buddy, I paid for this shirt. What would you rather pay for a shirt or a blowjob? You know what I mean? It's a no-brainer. I'm going to tell you right now, man. The only thing that stops me is sexually transmitted diseases. If it wasn't for, like, herpes and... Man, the fact that he's... He's the kid's park, man, telling all these... What the fuck? ...aids and shit like that. I'd be ordering hookers like Domino's. My girlfriend went to a strip club the other night, which I don't have a problem with. I mean, she's dating me. I know she's got to look at something to give her something to think about, right? But the only problem I had was she came home, she told me she touched one of the strippers' dicks. Can you believe that, ma'am? She said she touched it. So I go, what do you mean you touched it? What you 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 went like that? Ooh, ooh, what is that? She's like, no, I kinda I kinda went like that. So I was like, well, what the fuck? You didn't touch it, you stroked it. So I'm getting this big argument about what a stroke is. She goes, no, a stroke is down and then back up again. I go, yeah, but that was a stripper's dick. It's twice as big as mine, so once down is equal to down and then back up again. She tried to act like she didn't enjoy it, but it was a great big stripper cock, and I know she loved it. Oh man. Billboard is just one of the best, man. I love. I think these all these footage like really new to me. I've never seen them before. Damn, man.